So one discussion you want to avoid, like in, in the disability community and even like just with minorities in general, is the what they would call the oppression Olympics. So basically, what the what it is is like, or right, you tell somebody you know, I got spina bifida, and then they try to tell you, oh I got cancer, and they try like it's like it becomes like a competition of who has it worse. And it's one thing when you talk about each other's disabilities as far as like, all right, well, what do you have? What do you go through and things like that. But as you as you see, like in a community, you can very get like it gets very competitive for some reason. And I think a lot of it has to do with um, when you're in the hospital, like not everybody can receive treatment, and so like sometimes you're kind of forced to um, really hype up of what you have or really um, you know say you know make it worse than what it is, it's just so that you can receive treatment. And I have done this myself where there's surgeries that I really needed and I really wanted, but they would like to have you try all these pills and let you have you try all these other things first before you even have the surgery. And then you just already know like the surgery is the best route. And so you really have to convince them that, you know, that, you know, that you need the surgery and that you, you did or took the pills, you already did these things. And, and sometimes it feels like it does feel like a competition because you are in a room with other people that are disabled and there's only one doctor and only so many of you can get it. And it's kind of like, so you're fighting for scraps, you know? But once you are, once you're like out of that environment, or even if you're still in it, you really want to avoid it, you know, avoid the comparison, compare yourself to other disabled people, say who's got it worse, and well, I've had some more surgeries, or I've had gone through this much, and, and you see it um, quite often, and it's kind of sad to see. And uh, I mean, I've talked to disabled people, and I'm like, oh yeah, I got, you know, I got hydrocephalus, I got this, or whatever. And they, um, well, not necessarily be them, it can be like a relative. Well, well, they'll say, oh, my brother has this or my sister has that. And they try to make it, you know, it becomes like a competition and that's not really healthy. Um, amongst actual disabled people, we're just really, um, for the most part, I just see that we're really um, helpful with each other and we're just like understanding and it, it just, it's a whole another conversation. But you can't get caught up into that. And it's something you really want to avoid. Like I know, even when I talk to like some people who isn't, who aren't disabled, I just be like, oh, I had, you know, this surgery, and then they'll try to bring out all the surgeries they had and try to make it seem like it's worse, and I'm not really trying to get into that kind of conversation, you know, it's just um, sharing what we're going through, you know, to help each other out, and that's overall my problem with this is that with the oppression Olympics, it's just, it's like you're just trying to compete who has it worse, and then to amount to what, you know, what do you really accomplish, and it's not a healthy discussion, you know, the more healthy discussion is, you know, yeah, you kind of compare and contrast what you have, but it's to learn off each other of what you can do. You know, if I talk to um, people with hydrocephalus and, and I hear them out, you know, I'm not, I just hear the story out, you know, maybe they need to release it, you know, because sometimes they have nobody to talk to and I can understand what they're going through that other people really can't and vice versa. And then I kind of hear them and then I kind of like learn from them, like, like, oh, I, you know, that was part of the disability, you know, I, you know, I can get that or that can be an issue. And, you know, kind of we just talk it out and just compare, like, you know, compare and contrast our lives and what we went through. And it's not a competition. It's more being helpful and informative. And that's the route you want to go. You know, you want to, you don't want to get in this competition of, oh, I got cancer, I got AIDS, I got, you know, spider but I got whatever it may be, a tumor. And get caught up in that discussion of trying to compete. When in all reality, we're all here for each other. We get, need to help each other and grow and get stronger because you don't know everything as far as treatment and surgeries you can get, you know, you can, I've even talked to doctors that had no clue about the surgeries I had, you know, they're like, they didn't know that existed, you know, and then now they know the information and they're able to use it to help their other patients as well, you know, and so it could be the same thing as, you know, amongst each other, you know, we just get together, discuss what we have, and then we can learn off each other because not everything's on the internet, and there's some things that uh, maybe we each other might have access to certain doctors or certain facilities, and we, uh, whatever the case may be, or at least the numbers to maybe so we can get each other that have the surgery that we all need, you know, whatever that whatever surgery you may need, you know, um, and it's just a healthy way so that we can all live a longer and better life. So stay away from the oppression Olympics, you know. If somebody tells you about your disability, don't try to compete with them, compare with them, you know, compare and contrast, you know, don't compare and compete. And listen to what they have to say, man. Maybe they may, maybe they need to release it because there's just not too many of us around. 
as far as who we can talk to in our daily life. You know, you go to the hospital, you meet, you obviously meet a lot of people, and they're doing better as far as having programs for um, people who suffer from disabilities after the hospital and just the families. But that's not always the case in every hospital, and you may not have access to it, or you may not um, be able to apply for the program or whatever the case may be. So when you do see each other out in the wild, I would say, you know, when you're going somewhere and you see each other, you know, just compare and look at each other and help each other out and don't be out here trying to compete, you know. So just stay away from the oppression Olympics and just, you know, be happy with each other and just lift each other up. Thank you for watching this video. Bye.